In this video, it's Dr. David Elliott Berman, board certified plastic surgeon, discussing what are some of the things that lead to bacterial overgrowth and having the wrong bacteria in our gut. So first of all, it's eating poorly, things like junk food, bad oils in the food. So a lot of things are made with vegetable oils and when you heat them up, they're terrible for your system. Essentially all of junk foods terrible for you as are the diet sodas. So they attract the wrong bacteria. Everybody's had antibiotics. The problem is a lot of people have had a lot of antibiotics over the years. And back, um, antibiotics, of course, kill germs. But what people don't realize, it can also hurt the healthy bacteria in our body. And that leads to overgrowth of the bad bacteria. So sometimes you have to have antibiotics. But clearly in our society, too many people are taking too many antibiotics. A lot of the illnesses being treated are uh, viral, which means bacterial uh, antibiotics will have no benefit whatsoever and there's a real tendency as soon as you get a cough or sniffle to take antibiotics and that's terrible for you you don't need them for viruses you often don't need them as long as people take them the other thing that people forget about is a lot of the foods we eat particularly meats and chickens the animals have been fed uh, antibiotics and that leads to an abnormal bacterial makeup in their system we absorb some of this um, it's possible now to buy um, chicken and meat that have uh, registered to be antibiotic free so it's definitely worth spending a little bit of extra money when that's possible so look for that too much alcohol again I think it's fine to have a glass of wine or two every night but clearly drinking to excess another super common problem is a lot of people take antacids a lot of people are on medication to keep their stomach acid really low things like protonics and so on. So what they do is they essentially remove the ability of your stomach to make acid or decrease it significantly. That may help you with reflux, but when you're on long term, it changes again the bacterial makeup because our systems are designed to have a very acid stomach. So realize there's a price to be paid for that as well. Many of the long-term drugs that people are on, people that are on long-term steroids, again, it changed the bacterial makeup. So our lifestyle also can influence it, but it's principally what we eat and what we take in that will have a huge impact on the bacterial makeup in our GI tract.